crackled. So that's what the crackle paste comes all crackled. And then I'll take, I just love the colors. Um, I did, and then I'll take um, a watercolor and water it down and place it first, right? So it becomes a background, so it's a toned place. And then <coughs> I'll start laying in the color and it's fairly thick. So traditionally, and I'm sure other people do this, but um, I like to pretend that I'm being innovative. So traditionally, you water down with water, right? Mm -hmm. With watercolor. Well, these ones, I'm not doing that. Um, so I'm just going to try and find some colors here. And do, do, these do the watercolors dry quickly? Yes. But the nice thing about watercolors is you can constitute them with water and gum arabic. Oh. So that means that um, if you have watercolors, sometimes I'll, I'll leave things in a container like this. Okay. You can make them come alive yeah. again. Yeah. So, so if I were to add, if I were to reconstitute this, I'm not going to do that right now. But if I were to reuse it, and I would add a slight amount of gum arabic just to create a binder again, and um, yeah. And I don't have a, a garbage thing in the studio. I have to do that. When I don't have one. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some more colors on. So. Because you have to work fairly quickly with this. And these Daniel Smiths are amazing. Oops. They're very gooey. Gooey goodness. Yeah. Um, and these ones here, remember I was telling you yesterday that I have a love of stones and rocks yes. and stuff? These are all based on stones. Oh, were they? Yeah. Nice. So this, this, this one in particular is uh, called Kyanite. Mm -hmm. So that's all ground stone. Wow. This one is... So then also very healthy. Kind of okay. Yes, it's very <laughs> healthy. Yeah. Very eco-friendly. Yeah. So instead of a burnt sienna, then I'll use... Um, this one's called Sedona Genuine. Cadmiums, serpentine. Do I have a serpentine? I do not. Now these are all techniques and styles that you've experimented with and come up with on your own. Um, I think so. I haven't seen anyone else do um, watercolors like this. Yeah. And when I tell people that that other one is a watercolor, then they usually look at me very surprised. Yeah. Because yeah. it looks actually more like an oil or acrylic. Even. Yeah. So I'm just going to dab through. And the thing that I do is I don't. Well, the thing I don't do is specifically work on this little area and then this little area and then this. I go all through because then what happens is um, the painting will develop and I don't usually clean off my brush until I have about um, two or three colors on there. You can see this one's really gummy, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water, a little bit of dirty water. Mm -hmm. So what is it that, why did you decide to go why into watercolor right now? Um, I'm not sure. And I, actually I'm not sure. I know that when I was at home in, um, it's too much. when I was at home in January and I was just trying to get some energy back. Mm -hmm. um, I was watching the tutors, and I had done these canvases, and you know, I looked at them. I don't know for how long, months, because mm -hmm. I had done them back in July, mm -hmm. and um, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do on them, because it's it's like they're meant to do something, you know, specific. Um, and then I was watching the tutors, and the colors were just so amazing. Like, I don't know if you ever watch that specific show. But I've seen just trailers of it. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. It's what period, a period show. Is it's a, it is, yeah. yeah. It's all about um, Henry VIII and yeah. his wives. Yeah. And 
And um, so I did a couple of these and they all sold right away. Nice. Yeah. And that was on the internet, did they sell? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. 